Right tankers, it's mad and welcome back. Right, yesterday you saw me slapping around a subscriber with my five and a half inch self propelled gun. That sounds really bad, doesn't it? Well anyway, like I said in that video, we got talking. And then we platooned up and we had a right laugh actually. And we went from having some pretty bad games to be able now to um, carry a few games that we wouldn't have been able to do on our own really. And this was the most fun one. Uh, apologies, it's another challenger video. We only had one last week, but this video, uh, the, the end of this video is classic. Absolutely classic. I managed to get, in a challenger, I managed to get, uh, what was it, a Spartan, a Steel Wall, and the, the other armor type medal, what is it called? I can't remember now. We'll see in the results at the end. Yeah, in a challenger. Happy days. Right. There he is, Ben Jesus in his 87, the tier 7 non turreted British tank destroyer. And I'm in the uh, turreted tier 7 British tank destroyer, the Challenger. Uh, I just don't think the gun's as good as the 87, but um, you do get a turret, which I like. I mean, the 87, it is very well armoured, but as you can see it from here, it has that big thing sticking out. Everybody knows where to aim straight away now, and you end up losing your optics, you end up losing your commander, and you can't see nothing. Yeah, and then by the time you've seen the enemies coming to surround you, uh, it's too late. But still a good tank. I would rather drive the 87 than the Challenger, I think. Right, so what we need, two minutes in, and I've done bugger all. Benji's just gone in because he's got armour. I want to save my hit points and just sneak around doing stuff. Um, yeah, maybe I should have stuck with Benji's and supported him a little bit more. But it still works out in the end. Right, so I'm just trying to find an opportunity for me to do something without taking any damage. But it's not happening at the minute. Yep, just randomly driving around. I'm sure when Benji sees this part of the replay, there we go, he's got a kill. He's going to think, what the hell are you doing, mad? Right, so here we go, I'm actually going to start firing. And we've already lost one, two, three, four, five tanks, I think. And I'm just firing my first shots. There's some very valuable targets on the enemy team. Two of KV-2s, two of them. Very, very dangerous. Pick up our first bit of damage and we track him in the lake so we don't want him going too far. Target locked. Zero penetration. Yeah, cause some completely ineffective shots there, but we spy a Hellcat has gone a bit crazy. We should be able to finish him off. Just needs one more. Come on. And he goes down. Right, so it's not looking as bad at the minute. However, I am camping like a bit of a fag at the back of the map, and we lose another tank. Right, so I really need to do something. I am not helping very much, am I? Um, Benji's is still in there. He looks like he's on full health too. He's got a few problems coming his way. It's time to make a move. Right, so take some damage off the T-3485 there. That's not good. Right, so I'm wary about going around that corner. There's some KV-2s around there. There's a T-3485. Been detected. Here we go, he misses. I'll just drive at him at an angle. Come on, I've got a DPM for this. So I kill him, now the leopard. Come on, bang, two quick kills. But I lose my ammo rack there to a shot from behind from the Type 58. Oh, so Benji's in there, he's just set someone on fire. Come on, come on, I need to get this guy killed because I need to go and help him out real bad. Oh, that's a big hit and we managed to pick up the kill on the type there. Our friendly went down but we managed to kill that guy pretty quickly. And now the, the numbers are way more in our favour but Benji goes down, I didn't get there in time. I should have been a little bit more aggressive at the start there, but I needed the hit points for the last stages of the game. Right, so the other good thing about the Challenger is speed. 
if the turret was to turn faster, you could play this. You could just play this thing as a medium tank. Um, but the slow turret traverse speed does catch you out now and again. Oh, there we go. Kill the Cromwell. Just two left. It's a Black Prince and an IS. Right, so I load some premium rounds. Especially the Black Prince. They're an absolute nightmare to get through with the standard rounds on this tank. Remember, this gun is first appears at tier 5 with the Archer. And then you use it again with the tier 6 with the Achilles. And then you're stuck with it at tier 7 on the Challenger. Right, so I thought they were over here, but they're not. They were in the town. Somehow, I just didn't notice they were in the town. Well, so our T-34-85, he was on full health. Unfortunately, though, he's about to get gangbanged by two C-7 heavies. So I need to kill this guy quick. Right, so there's one down, just the Black Prince left. Here he is. Come on, come on, come on, help the guy out. Oh, that was a bad miss. And he takes the T-34-85 down. Got one APCR round left. Come on, he hits me. The bounce and he hits me again. Oh, now one shot. What do I do? Oh, I thought I'd screwed it here. I was hoping artillery was going to save my bacon, but that's not going to happen. Right, see what I do. Brave Sir Robin. I'm off. Need to make some distance on this guy. The only thing I have over him, really, is mobility and camo value. So I need to use it. That's the only way I'm going to ever get out of this situation. Right, so make it back to the spawn. I was going to set up at the back here. Try and spot for the arty. And um, obviously try and shoot from range. But watch this. Where's he going? There he goes, the bottom of the lake. Well done. Thank you very much. Because there's absolutely no chance of in hell of us winning a two-on-one situation, is there? So uh, a one-on-one -on -one situation with a one-shot challenger is, is a lot easier to do. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Right, so here I go. We were talking over voice chat and I was like, right, I'm going to go for the cap. Maybe, maybe he has gone towards our cap to go to cap or maybe just look for me. So I push in, put a tree down, and I get spotted. Oh, shit. There he is. My rounder comes out my tank completely sideways. So I drive at him an angle. Get a bounce. Fire and miss. Another bounce. Oh, I penned in. Just need one more. Bounce. Oh, I jink round him. Come on, come on, come on. Get your turret round. Get your turret round. Yes. Happy days. They just took down a tier 7 heavy tank and bounced a couple of his rounds. How the hell did I manage to pull that off? Right, there we go. Hardly any silver because I spanked 10 rounds of APCR. But 3,500 experience, high caliber, mastery tank, a Spartan steel wall, and what was the other one? Let's have a flick along. I can't remember what the name of the other one was. It's a Spartan. Cool headed <laughs> top gun and a steel wall in a challenger. 3k damage and mastery ace tanker and just a funny carry there. Right, there we go, chaps. Give the vid a like if you did, sub if you're not, and I'll catch you tomorrow. See you later.